Apple game taking social media by storm. We first showed you this video yesterday. And so many people have watched it. An Indianapolis gym teacher posted it showing his catchy creation. The video now has 13 million views on Facebook alone. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler was inside this gym class today at Lowell Elementary School on the city's southeast side and got a first hand look at what all the buzz about Hoop Hop Showdown is about. Two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! Leaders ready, let's go. It's every kid's favorite part of the day, gym class. Except today, gym at Lowell Elementary. Let's go, Lily, let's go. Might be a little louder. That's because a new game, Who Pop Showdown, has not only the kids going crazy, but the internet too. I didn't expect it at all to do that. I thought I was gonna post it on Facebook and get a few dozen likes and, you know, and move on. The game, a brainchild of gym teacher Eric Branch, has been viewed millions of times on Facebook. I was like, oh my god, this is the first time this has ever happened in my entire life. I am on the internet and going viral and everything else. I just started freaking out. I was really excited. So how does it work? The class is split into two teams on either end of the hula hoop course. When two kids meet along the path, an intense game of rock, paper, scissors ensues. So the fact that it was something that wasn't even team-based is unbelievable. And they're still rooting for each other and hollering and screaming and clapping and high-fiving. And they're technically not even teammates. But that's what the game is now. It is team-based because that's what everyone wanted it to be. A team wins the game when one player makes it to the end of the path and wins one final round of rock, paper, scissors. It looks easy, but it really isn't. It's really hard. So, like, because of the people, because some people, they have, like, really, really good strategies. As for that strategy, well, any good gamer knows how to keep a secret, but I did get some insight. It's not really hard, but now, like, when you hear, like, people screaming your name or cheering you on, it makes you want to look, but it, and it distracts you, and it's really hard not to do that. The motive behind Branch's strategy? Not to go viral, but keep kids active in the most fun way possible. If these kids can anticipate like the way they are to be ready and to be part of something and to make sure you're excited about it. Uh, it just it just makes everything very positive. And if that's, if that's the takeaway they get from it, then you know that's what I'm happy about. Well, Jenny reports the game has gotten a lot of attention nationwide. Branch says he's been contacted by ESPN, Sports Illustrated, and The Ellen Show. Wow, yeah. how cool is that, huh? And how serious are the kids?